in the lab the phenol is produced by a different process because in a lab la the romba high temperature high pressure la develop under the custom anala phenol is produced by taking the corresponding amine but para nitro phenol on naka you take with para nitro aniline para nitro aniline oda sodium nitrite dilute hcl about 5 degrees 0 to 5 degrees adu vandu in the amino group it will convert it to diazonium group this n triple bond n in the compound para nitro benzene diazonium chloride idu vandu n triple bond n the nitrogen la vandu four bonds irundaka adu vandu positive charge vandrum adukku counter ion hcl irukadnal counter ion is chloride ion so para nitro benzene diazonium chloride is the product the by treatment of para nitro aniline sodium nitrite dilute hcl at 0 to 5 degrees adu vandu 0 to 5 degrees use pandrad kaaranam enna nakka in the diazonium group will be replaced easily by so many other groups by if you increase the temperature and the water la produce pannadnala konjam increase pannaka automatically it produces phenol this is another substitution the oh minus attacks the carbon here and the nitrogen evolves as nitrogen gas is this positive charge will be neutralized and it will become nitrogen so this is a very simple process for producing phenols in the lab at fairly low temperature and uh, you know easily available conditions in the laboratory now if you look at the physical properties of phenol phenol has an aromatic ring benzene ring or other rings like naphthalene substituted benzene rings like in metacresol paracresol orthocresol the phenol and the, the in general physical properties like melting point boiling point solubility idella vand they they depend upon two different factors one factor is the molecular weight as you add the carbon atoms and increase the molecular weight carbon atoms or nitrogen or oxygen atoms increase the molecular weight then because of the mass it will be difficult for the molecule to go from liquid to vapor state or solid to liquid state the other factor which influences these physical properties is hydrogen bonding intermolecular hydrogen bonding oru molecule la irukra hydrogen இன்னொரு மாலிக்குள்ள இருக்கிற ஹைட்ரஜனோட பாண்ட் பண்ணுறது அது ஆக்சுவலி ஒன் ஹைட்ரஜன் சப்போஸ் யூ ஹாவ் அன் ஆக்சிஜன் ஐட்டம் லைக் இன் ஃபீனால் அண்ட் யூ ஹாவ் ஐ வில் டெசிக்னேட் தி ஃபினால் ரிங் அஸ் ஃபீ இஃப் திஸ் கம்ஸ் க்ளோஸ் டு அனதர் ஃபினாலிக் மாலிக்யூல் oxygen being electronegative this electron will be available on this the hydrogen as a partial bond between hydrogen and oxygen this bond is worth 5 kilo calories when you have large numbers of uh, phenol the phenol hydrogen the oh group will be making a hydrogen bond with the oxygen of the other phenolic group and uh, this is delta plus this is delta minus because the bonding electron will be pushed towards oxygen because of this uh, bond which has an energy of 5 kilocalories 
this uh, phenolic molecule will be like a dimer or it can be even a trimer. You know. So, three hydrogen uh, bondings are formed, one hydrogen bonding and two hydrogen bonding. This can bond with another molecule of phenol. So, you can have three molecules of phenol forming an aggregate. Adhe, and the aggregate perisa perisa hai, weight just there, the molecular weight just there. In addition, when you want to convert phenol from liquid to vapor state, these hydrogen bonds should be broken because they have sufficient stability of 5 kilocalories per mole. You have to apply greater temperature for breaking these bonds, then only they will go from liquid state to uh, vapor state. Because of this, phenol has a much higher boiling point compared to molecules of similar molecular weight. Like if you have uh, hexanol, which has 6 carbons and a hydroxy group, an aliphatic compound, that will boil at much less temperature than phenol because of this hydrogen bonding. And uh, this hydrogen bonding also impacts on the solubility of the molecule. Phenol has a solubility of 9 grams per 100 grams of water. It is a fairly high solubility for an organic molecule. Usually organic molecules are not very soluble in water. The alkanes are not at all soluble in water. But because you have the hydroxy group, there is some uh, attraction between water molecules and the hydroxyl group. Again, instead of the hydrogen bonding being formed between two phenol molecules, you can have hydrogen bonding between one phenol molecule and a water molecule. So, the hydrogen of the phenol hydroxyl group has an intermolecular hydrogen bonding with water. This oxygen is delta negative because of its electronegativity. This hydrogen is delta positive. So, this will produce an attraction of similar energy stability by 5 kilocalories per mole and because of this water has the hydrogen phenol has a tendency to dissolve in water because the resulting aggregate of water and phenol is stabilized because of hydrogen bonding. Now, there is another property of phenol which I alluded to in the beginning acidity of phenol. In the aliphatic alcohols lab, the alkyl group is electron donating. As the electron donate panaka, oxygen becomes more negative, it will attract the hydrogen even more. Therefore, the hydrogen on the proton has split up ahade, and then alcohols on the less acidic. Whereas phenol on the phenol group will pull the electron, oxygen will be pulled, and the hydrogen will be less attached to the oxygen than in alcohols. Because of this, the hydrogen in uh, phenol is more acidic and uh, compared to that, you can you can look at this in the K A values. Suppose, you have an acid which uh, becomes uh, acidic by uh, let us say C H 3 U O H it becomes it goes to CH3 COO minus plus H3O plus. This is a reversible reaction and this is characterized by a value which is called Ka values where the concentration of this the, these two are multiplied and put on the numerator 
the concentration of these two are multiplied and put in the denominator and the resulting value is called Ka. As the Ka values increase, the acidity increases because this is on the numerator. Now, if you look at the acidity of phenol versus alcohol versus carboxylic acids, you find the ionization constant of phenol is 4 to 8 orders of magnitude lower than ionization constant of phenol. The alcohols are 10 to the minus 4 to 10 to the minus 8 times of the acidity of phenol. Phenol itself is about 10 to the minus uh, 10 raised to the power minus 5 less than carboxylic acid. In carboxylic acid, you have two oxygens which make it more uh, negative and it does not allow the proton. It, it makes the carb carbon ion very stable. Therefore, proton departs very easily and uh, this structure of this is very stable compared to the phenolate ion. The alkoxide ion is even less stable. So, because of this, the uh, order of acidity is from phenol the first lowest acidity is alcohol, moderate acidity is phenol, high acidity is carboxylic acid. But given this uh, organic acids, carboxylic acids are nowhere near the acidity of HCl or sulfuric acid. They are orders of magnitude higher uh, acidity. And the acid line HCl, H2O is rumba concentrated. They ionize fully and uh, form uh, almost 100 percent proton if you put HCl in water. The proton will protonate the water to form H3O+. plus. So, uh, among the uh, aliphatic uh, alcohol, uh, phenol and uh, aromatic uh, carboxylic acid, then you have this gradation of acidity. You can see that how this is um, explained this phenol goes to phenoxide ion with sodium hydroxide. Phenol is nitrophenol. If you have more electron pulling group, nitro group is electron withdrawing group. If you have the nitro group para, para to the hydroxyl anyway, whether it is para or ortho or meta, the nitro group will pull the electrons from the ring. It will pull the electrons from the oxygen. Hydrogen will be left more easily as proton. Therefore, in this uh, uh, series, the most acidic is paranitrophenol, medium acidity is phenol, least acidic is paracresol because cresol introduces electrons into the ring. It will go through, through the ring and produce and because of that, this bond becomes more stable. Therefore, it does not the, lose the proton very easily. In just normally ROH going to H plus to RO minus, this is not at all stable. These are the resonance form of uh, phenol which shows why it is more acidic. Phenol gets deprotonated. The proton is removed. You get phenoxide ion this has two structures, resonance structures. The double bond here is becomes a single bond. Alternately, you have two different structures and the molecule itself is supposed to be a resonance hybrid. It is neither this or that. It is somewhere in between. We normally represent this the electrons are all present in the cyclic ring distributed throughout the six carbon atoms. Here you have the same type of resonance. After the proton is removed, there are two resonance molecules, resonance structures. The another possible structure is this O minus coming here to form a double bond and this will form a double bond. We will see in the next slide. 
this is the structure is a phenol if the lone pair of electrons on the oxygen gets into the ring gives certain more number of resonance structures therefore, makes the molecule more stable. But in this case when you write the resonance structures like this there is separation of charges and hence this is unstable it is like a zwitter ion two different charges present in the same molecule it is not very stable arrangement. Whereas, if you take the phenoxide ion which I have shown in the previous um, see, this phenoxide ion you have a negative charge outside when you have a negative charge the oxygen has three pairs of electrons one last pair is this oxygen carbon bond. Now, if we draw a resonance structure of this in the negative char uh, charge you bring it in a double bond form or the in the double bond form or the in a double bond you move to the ortho position you have a negative charge in the ortho position. If you keep moving the negative charge you from here it will go to the 3 position with respect to this in the in the position. So, two ortho positions and one met, uh, para position are now having this negative charge. These are the three resonance structures and in this case no note that there are no separation of charges. The separation of charges the structures are more stable that is why the phenoxide ion is more stable than phenol that is why it ionizes to phenoxide and is responsible for the acidity. The alcohol the proton in the R O minus the O minus cannot go into any of these carbons fully bonded and the only double bond in the the resonance is possible double or triple bonds. So, double bond the minus charge in the it is again concentrated on one atom and that is the least stable at least in phenol you have two resonance structures whereas, in alkoxide there are no resonance structures the alkoxide ion is the least stable therefore, the hydrogen does not easily part out as H plus. So, acidity is low.